guys. So I went through this whole video and um, it did not record for some reason. So I'm doing a voiceover for this video. So here we go. Hello Leos. This is your mid-month reading. We're going to pull some energy to see what's going on for you guys currently. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We're going to get started with calls and cross here, guys. Let's see. Like, what's going on around you guys currently? It's a queen of cups. Um, I'm feeling like you guys are in love. Very receptive energy. Um, very comforting energy. This is an emotional queen here. Um, and, and, you know, the queens are... In general, emotional, very receptive energies, okay? But I feel that um, you guys are holding yourselves back from someone or from doing something, like really letting your emotions just come streaming out here. If you can see that Queen of Cups has her hand over her cup. So she's not like, you know... She's not that easy to give of her emotions. You know, very kind of controlled. Like, you know, she'll give if she if she sees that it's going to be reciprocated. Is what I'm getting here. Um, cancer energy, I feel like, is there. Okay. Now, what's crossing you guys? I feel like there's there's something that you're really not that sure of. Okay. Um, it may be two people that you know have your wires kind of crossed up not really sure um about what to do about either of them even but you definitely you know i feel like your balls are up in the air it's like you're not trying to be all in either way just yet okay that's capricorn energy there Okay, Capricorn is the opposite um, sign of Cancer. So this could quite possibly, one of these people could be your person. I feel very strong, but you know, in that situation, it's very challenging. I'm going to say that to say the least, okay? Now, how you're viewing this situation is the Eight of Cups. I feel like this Eight of Cups is coming back. I feel like you're coming back into something that you walked away from before. I feel like you're revisiting something here. Something that um, definitely involved uh, a lot of emotions. I feel like, see those two cups? There, there's two cups set aside and there's six cups, you know, off to one corner and those six cups I feel like are the history that you guys have shared, the emotional history that you've shared with somebody here okay, I feel that at one point there was a situation where one of you um, was offering and the other one wasn't and I feel like you're revisiting that right now okay, that's Piscean energy there now going to go here to the underlying issue and we have the ace of pentacles this is a solid solid offer okay to start over so i feel like there's not um, an official offer on the table and then we have the five of cups and it's probably because there's a lot of history there's a lot that has gone wrong here and um i feel there's a lot of regrets attached to uh this five of cups energy because again, I feel that um, before here with the Eight of Cups, one of you was offering and the other one did not accept or um, just you guys weren't on the same page um, at one point in time. But I feel like you were definitely revisiting this. I feel like maybe this other person has offered something to you previously or you're trying to figure out whether or not um, this person will be open to giving to you emotionally. Whether this person is going to turn their back on an offer. I, I don't know, you know, if that is what, why you're undecided about whether or not to offer, take your hand off this cup up and extend it um, because you're really not sure how this person is going to respond if you did offer or they're not 
sure whether or how you're going to respond um, if they did offer even. Okay. Now, in the recent past, we have the Nine of Wands energy. Um, Sagittarius energy is here. I feel like maybe you guys have traveled to someone or traveled away from someone or someone has moved away from you. I'm getting this, this feeling that, you know, you guys are not sure if this person's going to be in it to win it or they're going to be out. Or whether this person has moved away from you guys. Like, they're not um, as willing to commit their love to you as they once were. Hmm. Your crowning thoughts. We have the Queen of Pentacles energy here. Capricorn energy, I feel very strongly. I feel like there's two people that you guys are not sure about. Because if you notice, this is like this on the table here. You have a Queen of Cups here. You can see. You have a Queen of Cups here. And you have a Queen of Pentacles here. With the Two of Pentacles in between. It's like, who is it? Who is it? Who do I choose? What do I do? Because I feel like there's two people here that have um, qualities that are significant to both of them. One is very emotional. One may be um, one may be more financially uh, secure. So um, I, I'm definitely getting that there is there's a choice to be made here. There's a choice to be made here between I feel like a water sign and an earth sign or water energy and an earth energy for um, uh, a lot of you guys here. And maybe the water energy has, um, you know, some fire in their chart. Maybe they're a little closed off currently, emotionally to you, you feel. So you, you may be leaning more towards um, the, the Earth energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. But I definitely see you guys thinking right now more about the water energy here with the fire in their chart. Thinking about going back and turning your back on the Earth energy. Maybe the earth energy is more stable, is is more like it's locked in. You're more confident about that connection. But um, we're going to move on past that and see what's coming in for you guys here. The emperor energy, Aries energy. I feel like there's a very strong individual that um, is significant to you guys, or either this is you, just knowing what you want, um, and, and trying to really establish something for yourself, trying to make um, a solid decision, what's best for you and your future, the emperor is the king of kings here, okay, the emperor does not beg, the emperor does not plead, um, the emperor basically is very strong and secure within himself or herself. Okay, now the influence here is the High Priestess. Huh. If somebody that is very um, uh, mysterious to you guys, and I feel like you guys have not talked in a while, um, there are things that you don't really know about this person, things that I feel like you want to know, 
it because it would bring it would bring some security. It would bring um, some things to light. I feel it would help you make a decision. In other words, Piscean energy is there. Strong Aries, Piscean energy, um, maybe Scorpio in your reading here. Sagittarian energy. Um, I feel Capricorn is very strong here. Okay. Now, your hopes or fears is the King of Cups. Mm. I'm feeling that, you know, you want a more emotionally stable situation. This is what your hope is. Your hope is also that you can be in control of your emotions and really know, you know, what's best for you. We have a couple here. I feel like your hope is to be with this Queen of Pentacles, I mean this Queen of Cups energy. And then the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles could quite possibly be the same person for some of you that this person embody, embodies it all for you guys. For some of you, okay? Now, the overall here is the Empress. This is a new beginning. This is a brand new beginning. This is Taurus, Aries, Libra energy for me. Okay? This is starting over. This is growth. This is being happy. Confident. Basically, having the key to the lands, all of the lands, and being able to to do with them what you please, to make something happen here, to be happy. To be happy. There's a new beginning. There's a, and then you have, oh my God, I'm getting chills all over my body here. We have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. And we have the Empress and the Emperor. I definitely feel like for a lot of you, this Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles is the same person. This person has everything that you feel like you would want or could want in a person. The Empress is all of the Queens. And I feel like that is this person. You're trying to figure something out here. Is this possible? Is this possible? Will this person be accepting? If I go back, can we bridge this gap? Is this person going to be, you know, open to me emotionally? Offer to me, accept me. You guys are a couple. Whoever this is resonating for, if you are thinking about somebody that you have been distant from or um, you walked away from at one point, that you feel regretful around this, you feel hurt that you did certain things. Um, I see a very good potential for longevity and happiness here in your reading. Okay. Very good potential. The only thing is I don't see any wands or movement. I don't see it. So no movement for May. No action being taken. I see a lot of thinking. I see a lot of emotions. I see a lot of time spent thinking. The only wands is a knight of wands is facing towards the past. Either somebody has moved away or, or somebody's feeling stuck in the past or you're feeling like, you know, somebody is stuck in the past. And that they're possibly 
not going to want to, you know, have a commitment or they're not going to want to give this another chance or somebody was flighty in the past. That was in the past. Only wants energy here. There needs to be some movement here. And then we have Aries energy with the emperor, but this emperor is not moving. People come to the emperor. Okay. So that is what I have for you. I, I'm just the queen and the king of cups, the emperor and the empress. I mean, and need I say more? All right, guys. So that is what I have for you guys. Um, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.